such a, a morally complex character. He's, to start with, he's a lawyer by day, upholding the law, and at night he runs around breaking the law. So those two things just do not fit. And, and to be able to portray that and really explore it over 13 hours instead of a two-hour movie uh, was just incredible. How elated are you that this thing is finally coming out next week? I'm thrilled. Uh, you, you know, I had an early conversation with Jeff Loeb about how, how weird it is to work so hard for an entire year, like 24-7, and then have something come out and have it, everybody watch it over the weekend. Um, and he said, well, you got to think about it like a 13-hour movie. And I thought, you know, that's exactly the way you should think about it. And, and you know, we put so much love and blood, sweat, and tears into this. Uh, it, I, I'm thrilled that it's fi everybody's finally able to take a look at what we've done. Now, Marvel is really good at planting seeds for future stuff, but also focusing on the current story. What was that balance like for you guys? I mean, I know you've talked about maybe season two, but it's just all about focusing on it. What was that balance like? You know, it was pretty simple for me, especially since the other three shows weren't up and running, so I didn't have to worry about connecting with anything. The biggest thing we did is uh, we had some early talks about the Defenders and where we were headed for that, so we were able to put in very small hints. Uh, very subtle. Uh, some you'll be able to pick up on, some only after the Defenders comes out where you go, oh, that's what they meant four years ago. Thank you so much, Stephen. Thanks.